Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as you can see, this is my Antiduckness Crassy Corder enclosure, beautiful acrylic enclosure. Unfortunately, I can't get any more of these enclosures because the gentleman who made this for me, he doesn't actually make them anymore, which is a bit of a shame. So, as you can see, my Antiduckness Crassy Corder is just at the back of the enclosure and she is my second largest scorpion in my collection so i'm going to be feeding her one of them panchanoda grubs today um she's never had one before so this will be uh fairly interesting and i'm going to be feeding two scorpions today this one and my parabuthus velocis orange morph that will be getting a grub as well so let's open the lid and uh, let's see if she's hungry so here are the panchanoda grubs that i bought a week ago and two I've actually started to pupate. So what I'll probably do is I'll leave them in there. And I'll let them turn into uh, some beetles. Panchanoda uh, beetles. Uh, if you don't know what the beetles look like. Uh, this is a quick picture. There you go everybody. So they are beautiful beetles when they actually pupate. And um, yeah they just eat beetle jelly. And there's one just there. Uh, Panchanoda beetle uh, grub just there, sorry. So yeah, let's grab that one there and uh, let's feed my scorpion. Here goes everyone. Just trying to find a place to sting it. There we go. This is a nice large meal for her. Uh, I haven't actually uh, shown my uh, crassy corder for a while. And as you can see, she's doing perfectly fine. And with these uh, fat tail scorpions, they have got a very, very potent sting. Um, these are uh, level, uh, venom level five. You have a, a venom levels from one to five and one being the weakest and five being the strongest. And these have uh, level five. Sorry everyone, I can't get my words out today. So it's not going to take too long for this uh, grub to die. It's been stung. I think it got two stings. So there you go everybody. It's starting to eat its meal already. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it's still going straight for the head. And as I said, with these stronger uh, venom in its sting, it doesn't take long for the grub to die. So this is a nice large male for her. And she's looking a little bit uh, on the chunky side. If you look at her plates are starting to spread out a little bit. So this will be her last meal for a while. Yeah, she's a, not fully grown just yet. She's only around about two and a half, three inches in length so while this one is eating its meal let's go and feed the uh, Parabuthus Velocis Orange Morph and there she is everybody my largest scorpion in my collection uh, nearly uh, fully grown I'd say one more malt and she'll definitely be fully grown so I'll be putting my iPhone inside the enclosure and uh, what I'll do is I'll hold my tripod so my hand is nowhere near the scorpion. Because it's not a scorpion you want to get stung by. So yeah, let's get one of them grubs and uh, let's see if she's hungry. There you go everybody, as you can see it's uh, 
grab the head, which is uh, the perfect place for the uh, scorpion to uh, not get uh, bitten by this uh, grub. It's just stung it again. So everyone, I've left it for about five minutes, and as you can see, it looks like now that the actual grub is dead, and uh, my scorpion is eating its meal. This is a nice large meal for her. So I thought I'd uh, feed another fat tail scorpion for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, the first takedown of my Antidrachnus classic order so I just thought I'd see how my classic order's getting on and yeah she's eating her meal perfectly fine and uh, scorpions eat their food very very slowly so this could take uh, a while for her to eat this grub so yeah I think I'll leave them both alone now to enjoy their meal and I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, everybody. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.